get more of them if you don't have them. Because they buy homes and they sell them. See, neighbors. Isn't it easier to list your neighbor's house than it is to list other people's homes? I mean, it can be more of a headache too because you're right there. But I mean, other than that, you know, it's still it's still easier. But I can promise you, most of your neighbors don't even know you are real estate agents. Tell them. Drop off some. Um, school, <laughs> people you personally do business with, sports, hobbies, former employees, coworkers, suppliers, organizations, and other. I don't sell real estate anymore, but I just started playing racquetball with um, a gentleman who um, is a recruiter for all the hospitals in my area. Wow. Guess what I did? <laughs> you know what that is. <laughs> But you know, do you think that's not going to be helpful for the agents in our office? That now every doctor and every nurse that he recruits into this area, he says, "Yeah, I have no problem giving you their names and numbers." Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to work with somebody. I play racquetball with you every day. We're friends. That's awesome, right? So the question is, how many people do you know like that 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 you don't utilize? So think about the people you know and see what you can get business with. Really valuable. Because that's really valuable, right? Doctors buy good big houses. Especially in the States, because I just get paid a lot of money down there. They buy big houses. That's a great source. Um, so let's talk about having mess. Cold calling. Marketing. The reason why almost double signs are marketing is really, 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 really watch your budget on marketing. Be careful. Make sure you're holding.